Welcome to the SFS Weekend Update. This is Morris. I want to begin with a long-term chart here tonight of GDX. Now, GDX, when I say long-term, this is the monthly chart. And you will note here, let me pull this down just a little bit. You will note right here that we are going all the way back into 2008. The most recent action on the monthly chart, it's very slow when you're looking at a monthly chart. Nothing changes for several months many times. Well, there's been a little bit of a change because we've come back up to the initial area of the major neckline resistance and we're pulling down in the form of a bull flag formation. Initially, what we're looking for on any kind of a bull flag breakout is to see the top of the bull flag penetrated to the upside. And since this is a monthly chart, we really would like to see this happen month in. So if we reverse in the coming week and move strongly higher, that would be step one. Step two is right here, the neckline itself. And we really need to see $31 penetrated to the upside. When that happens, the door is opened on the bull flag breakout for initial flagpole length to look a little bit like this. And this has been these initial targets that I have initially talked about. The inverse head and shoulder pattern, on the other hand, looks like this. And it is suggesting moves back up actually beyond the previous high. So it's a pretty bright, bright picture contingent upon a breakout on the bull flag formation. Now we move to the weekly chart. So from a monthly chart of GDX to a weekly chart of gold itself. Gold, we were looking for potential reversal candlestick as it related a week ago that would have set up a monthly morning star on a market that is now oversold enough to actually give us a reversal. The question is, are we have we come down enough on RSI after the extreme overbought reading? Well, many times markets stay extended overbought for literally years. So you can't be too worrisome about the overbought condition of the market on something like gold. Remember, it's just now actually broken through the area of that 1369 line in the sand that's been taken out this year. And now we consolidate. As you look at the candlestick, it's interesting generally you have two spinning bull sticks on the lower end of the chart two weeks in a row these are indecisive movement candlesticks remember the general trend since august has been lower so indecision is not just neutral actually what it is is positive and it sets us up to attack the 1492 area and once that breaks, then you're going right back to the area of the highs. And of course, that confirms the bull flag breakout on the weekly chart and begins to target my 1750 number on gold. The last chart we're looking at is uranium. Now, uranium, uh, we're looking at a daily chart and the potential setup off of the morning star formation down here in November, late October, early November. And now we would anticipate some sort of consolidation pattern. So you could go back over here and 416 or so on price would be a normal consideration. And, and from there, I would look for reversal and neckline breakout to the upside. That's all for now. This is Morris saying thank you.